In a previous video, we discussed options and volatility. Today, I would like to go a bit further and explain which structured products we favor in a high volatility environment. You might remember how we define volatility. In simple words, a volatile asset is an asset which price is erratic. And when markets are stressed, the volatility increases. Just like any other assets, you should buy volatility when it's cheap and sell volatility when it's high or expensive, just like in today's environment. There are different ways of selling volatility. Selling put option is the most obvious way. But today, I would like to talk to you about how we sell volatility in structured products, and more especially about the bear reverse convertible, also called the BRC. In this video, I will cover what a BRC is, how a BRC is built, and when it is the best time to trade a BRC. So first, what is a BRC? A BRC is a structured product indexed on an asset or a basket of assets, which can be equities or commodities, for instance. A BRC offers a guaranteed coupon irrespective of the underlying performance. It is thus suitable for investors looking for regular income over time. With the BRC, your capital is protected as long as none of the underlying asset close below a pretty fine level called the barrier. If, however, any of the underlying asset closes below the barrier, then the capital is not protected anymore and the capital is not paid back in full. If the worst case scenario, if the underlying asset decreases to zero, then the investor will lose all the invested capital and will be left with the coupon only. The BRC offers a guaranteed coupon, a downside protection, but no capital protection. So you should do a BRC on an asset you feel confident on, but not on an asset which you think will skyrocket, as the maximum return you can get is capped to the coupon level, and you do not get an upside participation. Second point, how is the BRC built? Let's take the example of a BRC with a European style observation, which means an investor buying a BRC will actually buy a zero coupon, and sell an option. The zero coupon is a bond from the issuer of the product that you will buy at a discount and that will be worth 100% at maturity. The option you are selling is a bit special. It is called a knock-in put or a barrier put and it works the following way. If the underlying asset closes above the barrier at maturity, then the option you sold expires worthless and you well off. If, however, the underlying closes below the barrier level at maturity, then the put you sold is activated, unfortunately. Selling this option is what will generate your guaranteed coupon. Bear this in mind, we will come back to that in a second. So the sum of the value of the zero coupon on one hand and the put option which you will sold on the other hand will be your redemption level at maturity. If the put is activated, it will reduce the value of your zero coupon and you will incur a loss. Third point, when is it best to invest in BRCs? As we just saw, the BRC consists essentially in selling a put and selling a put is selling volatility. And the best time to sell volatility is when it is high, just like in today's environment. As a rule of thumb, you can say that the higher the volatility, the higher the value of the knock-in put you sell and thus the higher the coupon of the BRC. In a nutshell, the BRC offers a guaranteed coupon, a soft downside protection, but no capital protection. The best moment to buy BRC is when the volatility is high. So if you expect the markets to trade sideways and the volatility to remain high, then it is a good time to trade such products. I thank you for your attention and I talk to you soon.